So as you can see, we have this view here, which uh, the background is currently black. That's why we didn't see anything. Also, let me close this panel here so we get more space. So what we want to do is instead we are going to uh, create a new view here. So instead of our view controller that we already have by default, we are going to use a collection view controller. So click on a plus button here, grab a collection view controller and put this right here. So the next thing we want to join this collection view controller and add it to our tab bar controller. And the way we're going to do this is just select our tab bar controller, click control and drag to our newly created view. And once you release, you have a lot of options here what to ch uh, choose. And what we want to do is to choose relationship segue and we add view controller. And by doing this, you will see that now we have three buttons. So we just add a third view to our tab bar controller. But I want to click my category view here, hit delete because I don't need this anymore. Instead, I'm going to use this category uh, view controller, which in our case is going to be collection view controller. Now you can see that the first item in our button selection is now search, but we want it to be our category. So make sure you change the name here. Hit enter. And then you can just uh, take the button and drag from the right to left or reorder them as you wish. Once we have more buttons, you can play with the ordering uh, even more. Okay, so we have our collection view controller here. And what I want to do is to embed this into a navigation controller. So if I go to my ready application here and open it up, you can see apart from collection view controller, I have this navigation controller on top. So in order to make this available to our view, I'm going to select my view controller, go to editor and then embed in navigation controller. You can see it added a navigation controller before our view controller, our collection view controller, and then it's automatically segues there. So if I run my application now, you should see that instead of the black screen I had initially, now I have my category selected and I have nice navigation bar on top. But if I go to my search, it's still black and nothing is there. So um, what we are going to do is select our navigation and put a title here. So it's going to be category. Hit enter and you can see it appears here. The next thing we're going to do is work with our collection view controller. You can see by default, we already have one cell here, which is quite small and there is nothing in our cell. Oh, you can see it's gray here. What we want to do is to have three cells per row. So they will be automatically sized depending on our screen size because you may have an iPhone 8 or iPhone XS Max and the width is different. So we want to have three cells and we want to have some margin in between them and each cell is going to have a label and the picture. So what we want to do is to design our cells first. So I'm going to drag this, make a bit bigger. That doesn't really matter the size here because we are going to do this automatically in a code. For now, I'm just going to put some uh, values here so that we can uh, work with our design. So select the category uh, collection view here. You can make sure it's selected from the left panel here, go to our measurements inspector. And here I'm going to set the cell size to 120 of width and the height is going to be 120 again, because this is going to be a square cell. Then we want to give some margin around so it doesn't touch our borders or the cells don't touch each other. And I'm going to put like uh, 10 on each and hit enter. And you will see that now my cell uh, is moved 10 points from all sides. Once we have this, we can uh, open our 
of a view library here and we need an image view so we drag an image view put this inside our box here our cell and having the image view selected we are going to resize it so I'm going to select my image view go to my size inspector again and the width I'm going to set to 75 and 75 height as well and then we have x and y position currently it's minus 44 and it's going out of our view but uh, let's bring this in and let's stay this like 22 and it looks like our x code there is a bug the image view shows here while it should be here this is a problem with the beta software that you are using but don't worry in uh, release i'm sure apple will fix this so let's um let's add another label so we are looking for a label you can also search for it by typing label and we drag our label inside our collection view cell which is our content view here we can see now the label is moved to other side as well visually but it's still here so what we want to set for our label is for it to be the size of our cell and we want to make this text in the to be a alignment in center so we have our image view we have our label and now we need to add auto layout constraints so select our image view first and let's go to these buttons at the bottom here that are working with auto layout constraints click add uh, auto layout constraints and i'm going to add from top to be zero then you can do the right left or bottom but we are not going to use these instead we are going to set the width and height to be 75 points and click add three constraints and now it's still red so it means our uh, runtime we don't know where our constraints where our view should be so then i'm going to click on the button alignment next to it and i want to align in my view vertically so it will be always in the middle of my view here now we add another constraints as you can see all the constraints are blue which means that our view knows where it's supposed to be on the runtime the same thing we're going to do with our label but uh, what i'm going to do with label because by default it's only one line but if you go here you can see that some of the names are long and it requires two lines for them so to do to make it work actually you select your label go to your inspector here which is attribute inspector and under lines make it zero so once it's zero it will take automatically the number of lines it requires and since by default our uh, height of our label is enough only for a single line and if you select the measurement inspector you can see it's 21 points high and the double it is 42 you can double the label height and we're going to move it up so our view is visible and then we're going to set our layout constraints so click on a square view here i'm going to set bottom zero left and right is going to touch our borders here so we have three constraints we have bottom left and right all three will be zero and then we want to make sure that the height stays 42 points so we set this constraint as well and at this you will see that now we have uh, all uh, around blue label uh, lines that means our auto layout constraint is set correctly 